Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm gonna to be comparing concealers that have been all the rage in the beauty community. On one side, I'm gonna be testing out the Tarte Tape Shape, which we've known about this. This is a tried and true cult classic. People love this so much that they never use any other kind of concealer. To the newer L'Oreal Infallible. I did recently do a full day wear test using this one with the matching L'Oreal foundation. This is pretty full coverage. You guys are gonna hear all about it today in this wear test, but when I did try this for the first time, I did think it was similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. I can't say that I've been loving either one of these lately. Honestly, I think I've just grown out of the Tarte Tape Shape and this one was a little heavy and creased a little bit on me, but I did want to give it a second chance and I did want to do this comparison video for you guys because I know there's been a lot of humming or is that a word, how you say it? There's been a lot of talk about these two concealers. So I'm really excited for this. It's been a hot minute since I did this first that video and I definitely want to get more into them. If you're interested in videos like this, be sure to click the bell button. This way you get a notification whenever it is. I'm uploading a new video here on my channel and also be sure to subscribe. You know, it helps me out. So I would really appreciate it if you did hit subscribe and click the bell button that is right next to it. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Tarte Tape Shape versus L'Oreal Infallible concealer all day wear test comparison video. We are here. I'm looking a little crazy. I simply put on foundation and contour at this point and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the concealer. So I'm going to do Tarte on my right side, your left looking at me, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal on my left side, your right. I'm going to start off with the L'Oreal. Let's get up close and personal. I'm going to put it underneath my contour too. We're going to go a little extra today with the concealer because we really want to test it out. I'm just going to put it in these two places. Really today, I'm just concerned with how they both wear underneath the eye. And I'm just going to blend this underneath the contour. So this is just going to help chisel out that contour. I'm going to use a combination of a brush and a sponge. That's just how I like to apply my concealer. And also, in case you were wondering and did not check down below in the description, I'm wearing the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm Cream. You guys know every time I do my makeup, I wear this. It helps to ensure that my concealer doesn't get crinkly and like crusty because I don't like that. I'm going to take my MAC 287 concealer brush and just blend this out. So I'm just kind of doing it in like patting motions. You want like a really light touch when you apply concealer. And I'm putting it over my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger just to warm it up. Make it look a little bit more natural. And now I'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge. I'm gonna dampen it a little bit with setting spray. I find for me, I have really dry, oh, hello, I'm spraying the cap of my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm gonna spray the sponge. And I'm just gonna pat this in. I find for me, I have really dry under eyes, so when I go in with a sponge initially without blending it out with the brush and my finger, sometimes it gets a little cakey. So I'm just patting over the eye, underneath the eye. Yeah, this concealer is just like a little textured on me. And I think it's because I do have pretty dry under eyes. Before we go ahead and set this, I do want to apply the Tarte. So this is the Tarte Tape Shape and I'm in the shade Light Neutral. I don't think I told you guys that I'm in the shade 355 Vanilla in the L'Oreal Infallible. Tarte Tape Shape is definitely thinner than the L'Oreal. You can totally see the difference and feel the difference just by blending it. L'Oreal, you kind of have to go in a little bit faster this side because this one does dry down pretty quickly because it's such a thick consistency. Sorry, we're going back and forth, but I realized that I blended this first on the other side. Now going in with the sponge on underneath my eye. So they're both going on a little textured. I tend to get texture in here just because like I said, my eyes are just really dry. So I'm not gonna knock either one for that area. I don't know if you can see, this eye is definitely creasing a lot faster than this one. So the L'Oreal, I just feel like is thicker. It's a thicker formula. So it has the tendency to move a little bit more. I'm like kind of like a little crusty in these areas, but I will get the vlog camera out and I'll show you guys in daylight as soon as I'm done with my makeup so you guys can see the finished product. So I'm just taking my sponge and stamping around my face to just blend everything in together. Go for banana powder that you guys have seen me use so many times. Make sure that nothing is creased because if you set the creases, they're gonna be there all day. Yeah, this eye definitely creased more. L'Oreal definitely creases more on me. Pounce that powder into the skin. I think this eye has fuller coverage, but this eye looks a little bit smoother. What do we think? This is just the beginning. Things could turn. I do want to finish off the rest of my makeup and give you guys the full like look all together. This way you can get 
the full idea of what it looks like if that makes any sense so I am gonna hop off camera I'm gonna finish off my makeup this is the finished makeup I was just feeling some bold brows a bold lip and spidery lashes I am seriously so in love and I know this has nothing to do with this video but I have seriously been so in love with my recent mascara purchases it's insane so today I'm wearing the ill maquillage this is their high volume and intense curl mascara but if you follow me on Instagram I've also seriously been raving about the Maybelline Snapscara their new mascara that they just came out with it is such a good mascara I would say the Maybelline one is a little bit better but you pull it out of the tube for the first time and it's like the mascara is not brand new I hate a new mascara it's clumpy it's chunky it kind of just like coats your lashes with way too much product but this one and then the Snapscara one are bomb. But I am going to do a full-on mascara video soon. I'll show you guys all the applications, the pros and cons. So if you're interested in affordable or high-end mascaras, that, my friends, is coming. Also loving this lippy. This was from my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. These are the Jolie Cosmetics, and I'm wearing the shade Lila. Enough of that. This is not what this video is about. I just wanted to hop on here, show you guys my finished makeup look, give you guys my initial thoughts before we get into the full day wear test. So right now, I think both of my under eyes look pretty good. You can definitely still see a little bit of the darkness. I think a little bit more so on the Tarte Tape Shape side, but I think that both of my under eyes look phenom. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go about my day, I'm going to give you guys some close-up shots, vlogging, I've already said this more than enough times, so yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to drive to my aunt's, I'm going to go bring her some breakfast, some coffee, and I will see you guys in a little bit. I feel like overall today I'm having a really good makeup day, I'm loving this lipstick. Mike and I have literally been running around like crazy, what else is new? But I have been wearing this since 10.30 this morning, and it is 6.30. So I've been wearing this for eight hours. The only thing that I touched up was my lipstick because I did have lunch, I ate, I drank. So this is the only thing that I've reapplied. Other than that, I haven't touched up my face. It was really humid out today. It was like 91 degrees and super humid. And honestly, I'm loving my makeup. The only thing I'm not loving is this concealer. So again, just to reiterate, L'Oreal, and this is Tarte. It's pretty much like gone right here and also like right here. I have to say I think that the L'Oreal side is a little bit worse than the Tarte side. Both have creased a little bit. This crease right here on both sides doesn't bother me because I tell you guys all the time like if you have creases in your eyes, the chances are your concealer is eventually going to move no matter how much you stamp them out or press them in with powder. But it's kind of like these other lines that are really subtle that like get me like that bothers me when concealer leaves that area and then this eye i don't think this eye is as creased as the l'oreal one like see this one's a little bit more creased here and here but this one did crease in the big crease and then i can see like a couple creases it's just not a good concealer day I mean, it has been a while, but I'm going to tell you guys, this eye, the L'Oreal one, creased automatically again on me. I think you guys should have been able to see it when I applied. If not, I do apologize. Again, I really didn't get the chance to check in. It is eight hours later, but this is a full day wear test. I should have checked in a little bit more, but what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments which side do you think looks better and which side do you think looks worse. I personally think that the Tarte side looks better than the L'Oreal side, but I think that they're so, so similar that it doesn't really even matter. Like if you were to really ask me my opinion, I would say that the L'Oreal one is a really good dupe for Tarte, but I think the Tarte one is like a little bit better. I'm a really big fan of this lipstick though. I think this one kind of looks like I smudged it and this one just has like a faint like shadow underneath my eye like this one just looks like my bags are popping out whereas this one kind of looks like i made a mistake in my concealer application do you guys agree let me know down below very curious to hear your thoughts um but yeah i'm gonna go run around i think mike and i are gonna go to the mall run some errands um and then i'll check in with you guys before i wash my face and do my skincare routine before going to bed so i'll see you guys in a little bit hopefully things take a turn for the better. Okay, today, babe, we're testing concealer. Which concealer, like which under eye looks worse? We'll ask for the bad news. Turn your head. Turn your head the other way. This is a thorough inspection. I think your left eye, my right side, looks worse. 
You think this one looks worse? Yeah. That's the one that I think looks worse too. It looks okay. Cakey. We agree. And it like kind of just moved in one spot. Yeah. All right. That's sad. L'Oreal is sucking, but I feel like it made me like this one a lot more comparing the two, kind of. They don't look like that different though. Who's the other one? They don't look The very, other one's very tart. Well, you can't look at me now. You're driving. Yeah, I don't know. I agree. That's what I thought too. And what do you think about my lip color? No, I'm not feeling the lip color. Why? I just don't like that color. It's a different color for me, I it's feel like. It's like cabbage. Cabbage? Oh, I can't believe you just said my lips. It looks like cabbage. Cabbage purple. Do you like cabbage? No. Oh, that's fucked up then. Actually, I'm lying. I do like cabbage. You just do? on your lips. All right, same, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> All right guys, here we are, 12 hours in. This has literally become a full day wear test. I really wasn't planning on wearing it for this long. I thought maybe we'd get to 10 hours, but I did my makeup so early this morning. Highly impressed. I was glammed and out the door at like 10 a.m. this morning, so that's a victory for me for the weekend. But um, at the end of this, I will definitely insert some clips for you guys showing you some vlog shots of the under eyes. This one is the, the L'Oreal one and it looks like someone just took their finger and like swiped away the concealer here. So you can definitely see like even from this distance like my bags look pretty bad. Like full day coverage, full wear full day coverage, I don't agree with that. So I kind of knock L'Oreal a little bit for that because it does say, oh wait actually no it doesn't. Actually I'm knocking this and that's not even what it says. Do I have the foundation here? Oh, only the foundation is up to 24 hour fresh wear, not the concealer. Okay, so I can't knock L'Oreal for that. So it is definitely not like full coverage, lasting full coverage. So L'Oreal, honestly, this is the worst side. It did fade away in that one spot and it kind of looks like it doesn't, it's not like fluid. It just kind of looks like something happened to my makeup and maybe I made a mistake and that kind of drives me a little bit crazy, but I do hope that you guys can see this on the video. I don't know if you can see it right now, but this is the one eye, L'Oreal, and then Tarte. I mean, this one definitely faded as well. You can definitely see my bags, but I just feel like they look a lot worse on the L'Oreal side than they do on the Tarte side. So all in all, do I think that they're super comparable? Yes, I think that if you're on a budget, go ahead, get the L'Oreal one, but I honestly think if you have that extra cash to spend, definitely go for the Tarte because I do think that it's like a little bit better than the L'Oreal Infallible, but I'm definitely on the hunt for a really bomb ass concealer because I'm not loving these as much as like say most people love this one or most people love this one. So I will let you guys know, but Koki Cosmetics, I've been talking about this concealer for a long time. That one has definitely been my go-to in the recent couple months. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments. Which concealer do you think performed better? Do you think it was the L'Oreal side or the Tarte side? Also, let me know what your favorite concealer at the moment is. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. And once again, hit that bell button so you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a great time as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, finders. Mm -hmm.